stand up right now in the presence of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you will bless every student that rises up in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them not be shy. Let them stand because it is not the person on the left or the right, but we are praying to you, O oh God. And we are lifting every student here who, who is brave enough to stand up. We lift them up before you, O oh God. And we ask them, Father, to just lift up their hands before you to humble themselves before you father i pray as you see each one even for those who are not here who are represented by their parents lord you just touch every student lord you just bless them bless them mightily lord Father, I pray, Lord, that you just pour down your anointing on every student, Father. Every student here, every student represented by their parents in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray for those who are weak in their studies. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you bless these students and bless them with perseverance, no matter how difficult their subject, their studies may be, no matter how difficult this year may be. But Lord, we know that as long as we entrust them into your hands, as we entrust their studies, their minds into your hands, Lord, you will work in them mightily. Your anointing fall upon them in, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I just pray, Lord, that no matter what reason what circumstance may cause them to be weak in their studies father because you are, are in their life because they factor you in their life lord they will be blessed amen father i pray that you bless them to persevere that they will have the determination to overcome bless them oh father to know that with you they can accomplish everything oh god as long as they factor you as long as they call jesus jesus be with me lord you are with them in an instant I pray, Lord, that you bless each student with the mind of Christ, the wisdom of Christ, and a strong, sound mind. Bless them, O oh God, with hearts that are teachable to you. As, as you speak to them through their parents, as you speak to them through their, maybe their older brothers and sisters, as you speak to them through their teachers, I pray, Father, that you will touch them and cause them to have hearts that are open to you, hearts that are teachable, Father, hearts that will listen. Lord, we know that sometimes um, our children may be stubborn they, they may not want to listen to their parents because at times parents will repeat themselves a little too much and the children get upset but lord you just bless these children Amen. you know what they need Amen. you know what they need Amen. and i pray father that you will just be with them and bless them that they will be able to learn and absorb all that they are taught that they will desire to look to you and factor you in every part of their lives every part of their education and i pray father that when they succeed when they do well they will remember it is because of you Amen. because of you i pray father that you will give every student the wisdom to answer questions and test papers that lord you will strengthen their minds you will open the pathways in their minds lord and make their learning smooth so that they will not have to struggle and strain I pray, Father, that you will connect everything in their brain so that they have clear thoughts, good organization, good memory in the mighty name of Jesus, and a strong learning ability. And I pray, Father, that, Lord, as your word says in Proverbs 23, 12, may they apply their hearts to instruction and their ears to words of knowledge. And, Lord, may you give them understanding in all things. May they experience the joy of learning more about you, more about you in, the, in their subjects oh father lord because you are the one who has created every subject and father i pray lord that you will not allow them to be discouraged but lord that whatever failure they may experience let it be the incentive to spur them on in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Father, I also want to bind and rebuke every distraction that the devil puts upon them. Lord, there's so much distraction for our children today. There is computer games, there is the internet, there's Facebook, there's the phone, there's everything to distract them. And Lord, we know that the, the spirit of distraction comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. So in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to bind and rebuke every foul spirit of distraction sent to destroy our children, sent to distract them from what they are to do. We buy them and rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus. Sure. And Father, I want to lose upon every student good focus, good concentration. Amen. And Lord, I thank you as we lift them up before you now, Lord, you are 
moving ahead to do a mighty work in their lives, oh God. And I pray, Father, that you'll bless um, our children, bless the students to go out with their friends, to enjoy time in the fresh air, that they will take themselves away from the screen and that they will enjoy physical games, uh, football, swimming, whatever, so that their bodies can be healthy, their bodies can be strong. And I pray, Lord, that you bless them to sleep at a good hour, not to stay up late doing this and that, but Lord, to, to realize that their bodies need the rest so that they can function well each day. And I pray, Father, also that you bless them with favor, with their teachers, with their classmates. Father, we know that every child of yours is blessed. Every child Amen. of yours is Amen. full of your favor and your grace. Amen. Lord, let it be evident to, with them, O oh God. Bless them with godly friends, godly teachers, godly classmates. Lord, so that as they study together, they can fellowship around your word as well they can encourage each other in your word and i thank you and praise you that as they fellowship around your word lord they will be so blessed let them feel blessed oh father let them not talk about uh, silly things although lord we know that they do need to relax and enjoy themselves but lord i pray also that most of all they will fellowship around you and your word father and as they do so lord they will be blessed abundantly Amen. for these young people lord these young adults they are the future leaders of our church the future leaders of our country and lord i pray for your protection and your hand upon them in the mighty name of jesus uh, you may sit down and lord i want to pray for the parents of these young people of these students that you will bless them father bless the parents to be diligent in supporting their children by praying for them and with them lord it is the tendency of every parent who loves their child so much to remind them often to keep repeating themselves but father i pray lord that you bless every parent with self-control and bless every parent to realize that when we bring our children to you lord you will do you will do what is necessary so i pray lord for every parent that you will bless the parents with self control and uh, bless parents with godliness to pray for our children lord because when we put our children in your hands you will show us father what to pray for them you will show us how to how to behave around them to encourage them to inspire them oh god and father i pray lord that you bless uh, the students with good teachers who are godly who will know how to motivate and inspire the students lord there are many good teachers and i pray father that you will you will bless them and you will bless the, the other teachers to, to have wisdom, to have uh, inspiration, to help the students who are work, uh, weak in their studies, oh Father. Bless them to put in the extra effort with these students so that they will, they will gain self-confidence and they can do better in their studies. And Father, I want to pray especially for fathers. I want to invite every father here to stand up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every father... Father in heaven, every earthly father to stand up before your presence. Lord, we want to lift up every father before you. And I pray, Lord, that you will bless every father, every grandfather. And Lord, even the families who may have no father, you just send people to, to, to bless them. You be the father over the family, oh God. But Lord, I want to pray for every man here that he be totally committed to you, oh God. Father, we know that when they come home, they are tired, they want to rest, they may watch TV, they may look at their iPads, but Lord, I pray that they will discipline themselves so that after their period of rest, Lord, let them set aside a certain time to rest, and then Lord, let them come before you, let them come before the throne of grace, let them come before you and pray for their families, oh God. Lord, we need more men who are committed to praying for their wives and their children. We need more men who will rise up in the mighty name of Jesus, not be wimpy fathers, Lord, to allow their wives to do everything, to allow their wives to tell them what to do. But Lord, I pray that you will raise up fathers who are mighty in the Lord, so that, Lord, they can lead their families, they can inspire their families, they can center their families around the Word of God. I pray, Father, that you will bind every spirit sent to cause every husband, every man, every father, every grandfather, every uncle to feel tired, to feel lazy, to say, oh, five minutes later. But Lord, that they will be purposeful, they will be intentional to bless their family, to form um, spiritual lessons to lead and guide their family. That their hearts will be stirred, stirred to lead their family because in these end times, 
they need to lead their families to, to go further, oh Father, to fight strong against the enemy. Father, I pray that you will bless every every man to realize their God-given responsibility and pri privilege to be diligent, to be enthusiastic, to be intentional in their families. That, Lord, you will shape their spirit so that they will not be content with how things are. They will be intentional, as inspired, and proactive in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will exercise their authority in Christ for their families. And Lord, as they do that, their children will be inspired and they will do well in their studies, in their adult life, oh God. And I pray, Father, that as you cause every man to rise up, Lord God, we want to claim your word that says that... These men will be your son and you will be their father. You will secure your kingdom over each family in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray, Father, Lord, that you will give every father, every husband, every grandfather the wisdom and understanding that as they obey your Lord, they will be successful if they carefully obey the decrees and regulations that, Lord, you give. And I pray for every man to be strong and courageous in Jesus' mighty name, that they will seek the Lord their God with all their heart and all their soul. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you will bless every one of us. Clothe us with Holy Spirit, quicken and convict every spirit. And Lord, you say you will rescue those who love you. You will protect those who trust your name. When they call on you, you will answer. You will be with them in trouble. Amen. You will rescue them and honor them. Amen. You will reward them with a long life. Amen. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.